Hello, what's up everyone? This is Sir Franz Magusara and our topic is all about introduction to functions. Now let us start. Here are one, two, three, four, five questions for a crossword puzzle. All you need to do is to pause the is to pause the video and answer the following questions starting with uh, one which is this one followed by two three four and five for your answers i want you to comment down your answers in the comment section for me to check on it and let's see if you will get the correct answers Once you're done answering, don't forget to take note your answer so we could review all of it together. Now, all ears should be ready as we start with our definition or the definition of terms. We have here a relation. A relation is a set of pairing of input values with output values. That is a relation. Moving on with domain. Domain is the set of all input values mostly denoted by the variable x. Next, range is the set of all output values mostly denoted by the variable y. I want you to take note of the following definitions, which is the relation, the domain, and the range. These these definitions are very crucial as we move on to our next slide. How about the definition of function? A function is a relation from a set of inputs to a set of possible outputs where each input is related to exla exactly one output. And we need to take note that it is not a function if at least one input has more than one output. This definition is also important. Now, it is a function if an input has an output. Two different inputs have the same output. And lastly, one input has only one output function as a machine as you can see here as we have represented it like a function machine as you can see in that uh, the inputs were labeled as our circular objects and outputs are label labeled as our uh, rectangular objects here that represents that each input being uh, each input there and then the ma function machine will only will only uh, produce exactly the same output or uh, with regards to your inputs as you saw this representation here. So this is just a uh, visualization of how function is being represented here in mathematics. Now let us determine function as ordered pairs. Which of the following ordered pairs are functions? Let's start with the set A. Here we have the ordered pairs 9, 10, negative 5, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 3, negative 9. Do you think it's a function? The answer there is yes, it is a function. Looking at your domains, which is 9, negative 5, 2, 3, together with your range, which is 10, negative 2, negative 1, and negative 9. The relation here is a one-to-one -one function, which means each domain has exactly one range. And therefore, I'm gonna check this one because this is a function. Now let's have the second set. The ordered pairs are is equal to 2, 5, 3, 8, 4, 6, 7, 20. Looking at this 
given, it is very obvious that each input we have has exactly one output, just the same with our first example. Therefore, this is also a function. If you are wondering why is it a function, because our axis or our the value of our domains, which is 2, 3, 4, and 7, are not repeating. Same goes with our range, which is 5, 8, 6, and 20. And looking at its relation by pair, this is a one-to-one -one function. The relation is one-to-one -one for simply each input has exactly one output. How about this example? Do you think it is a function? No, it is not a function. Let us, let us look at the example carefully. As you can see it there, we have a repetition of input which is z. And take note that a relation which is one to many is not a function. Because basing from our definition that one input should have exactly one output because our input z should have only one and in this case our z has two inputs which is seven and zero therefore this is not a function and that's how easy it is to to determine function as ordered pairs now let's have the next part of our slide which talks about function as diagrams which of the following diagrams are functions okay so here here is the basis number one function is not one to one why looking at our value we have the set of ordered pairs which is 2, 9, 4, 5, 11, 5. Yes, we know that this is not a one-to-one -one function, but the question there is, it is a function. The answer there is that, yes, it is a function. Because our inputs has exactly one output, okay? We should not base it from our output because we will not say that our input has exact our output has exactly one input. No, that is not the definition of function. Uh, basing from our definition that a function should have the input of a function should have exactly one output even though the output 5 is repeated by each input which is 4 and 11 that is still a function number two it is a one one to one function why this is very simple 2 is to 9 4 is to 6 and 11 is to 5 as you can see it there the here is the ordered pairs and this is how we represent represent the ordered pairs into a diagram and therefore number two is also a function and that's it for diagrams three correspondence so function as a diagram basis is one to one to one many to one and one to many okay which means that this one is a function this one is a function and this is not a function take note when you say one to many for example the diagram like this okay let me let me draw a diagram for you we have i'm gonna label it x and y so we have here one, two, three, and then four, five, six. One, this is not 
a function because looking at our input 1, it has two uh, output which is 4 and 5. So we're going to write it like this. It's 1, 4 and 1, 5. As you can see, 1 is being repeated and then uh, it has two output which is 4 and 5. Therefore, we are going to determine this case as not a function. And that's it for functions as diagrams. Let me erase it first. Okay, we're good to go. How about function as tables? So in this case, which of the following tables are functions? Starting with this table, we have input 3, 3, 3, 3, and for our output, 1, 2, 3, and 4, which means this is an ordered pair, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and 3, 4. Do you think it is a function? The answer there is no, it is not a function. So this is not a function. How about the next table? Given our value of x, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and for our y, we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Okay, looking at its relation, we have an ordered pair 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, 4, 16, 5, 25. As you can see, the relation for each pair is 1 to 1. 1 to 1. We only have exactly one output for our for each of our inputs. Therefore, we could say that this table is a function. And that's it for function as a table. Now let's have function as graphs. A graph is a function if it satisfy the vertical line test. If a vertical line is drawn on the graph, the line intersects the graph at one point only. How are we going to represent this one? Okay, let me give you an example here. Let's say we have a graph here and then the function, the graph of the function looks like this. Okay, so for example, and this is an absolute function actually, but vertical line test should be represented like this. So we are going to create one vertical line test, which means it's a line from top to bottom or from bottom to top. So it's up to you as long as it is opposite. Uh, we call it parallel, parallel to our y-axis. So we're going to line, we're going to draw a line, which is this one. This is our vertical line test. And as you can see, we intersect at exactly one point. And it satisfies our definition that it is a function if the line intersects the graph at one point only. Therefore, this example of graph is a function. Now let's try more graphs. Here we go. Which of the following graphs are functions? Starting with this one. As you can see, our vertical line just intersects two points of the graph, which means it does not satisfy our definition, and therefore we say that this is not a function. How about the next graph? This is just like the same of what, I've, of what I have given to you. As you draw your vertical lines here, or even here, or maybe here, or maybe here, so wherever you draw your vertical, vertical line test, it will intersect at exactly one point and nothing else. Therefore, this graph is a function. How about our third graph? 
Obviously, as you draw a vertical line test, it will intersect two points of the graph. Therefore, this graph is not a function. How about our fourth graph? Let's draw some vertical line tests here. Mm -hmm. I can say that it intersects at exactly one point. Therefore, this graph is a function. And that's it on how to determine graphs as functions. Let's go with our function as an equation, okay? An equation is not a function if, okay, take note, what I have given you here is the basis for not a function. For you to know carefully that it is not a function if there's no y variable. For example, there is no y variable x is equal to 2. As you can see, the y variable there represents our dependent variable and which is our uh, representation for our range. And in this case, this equation has no y variable. Therefore, this is not a function. y variable is raised to an even exponent. For example, we have y squared is equal to 2x plus 1. Looking at this example, our y has is raised to an even exponent, which is 2. Therefore, this is not a function. Another example, y raised to the power of 4 is equal to 3x. As you can see, the exponent is a 4, which is an even exponent. Therefore, this is also not a function. Next in line, we have y variable is enclosed with an absolute value sign, which means if you have an equation like this, let's say 2 is equal to y plus x. As you can see that our y variable here is enclosed with an absolute value sign, which is this one and this one. Therefore, it is not a function. Another example for that is x plus y is equal to 40. And as you can see, our y is enclosed again with an absolute value sign. Therefore, this equation is not a function. And for the last basis, our x variable is under the radical symbol. For example, y is equal to the square root of x plus 3. In this case, our x variable is under the radical symbol. That is, this equation, this equation is not a function. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 basis for an equation which is not a function. Let me erase for this one. And which of the following equations are functions? Let's determine. x is equal to negative 4. It is a function or not a function? What do you think? The answer there is that no, it is not a function. Next. 3x is equal to 9 minus y raised to the power of 4. As you can see from the basis that it is not a function if the variable y is raised to an even exponent. Therefore, this is not a function. How about this one? 3yx is equal to negative x squared minus 2. Do you think it is a function? Look at your y, look at your x. Okay, therefore, basing from our definition earlier, yes, it is a function. Okay, so this, these examples are based from jogebra.org slash calculator. Do you have any questions? If you have further questions for this topic, please comment down your questions so I could uh, answer your questions one by one through the comment sec sections. Thank you so much for listening and have a good day.